Now, the International Court of Justice, the highest United Nations court, has issued an interim order in favor of Iran in its battle against the U.S. sanctions. Now, the International Court of Justice has rejected the U.S. objections to its jurisdiction over Trump's era sanctions on Iran, though any ultimate resolution is still expected in the diplomatic arena. The votes on several jurisdictional issues were unanimous against the United States and 15 to 1 on some issues. The United States did not respond well to the international top court's decision. The spokesperson of the U.S. State Department said that the U.S. is extremely disappointed by the International Court of Justice's ruling. I would say that we have great respect uh, for the International Court of Justice. Um, at the same time, uh, we are disappointed that the court did not accept our well-founded legal arguments, um, that the case Iran brought is outside the court's jurisdiction, uh, and the court should not hear it. All right, so that is the argument that the Americans want to use, that the ICJ does not have jurisdiction on these unilateral American sanctions. Meanwhile, Iran's top diplomat, Mohammad Javad Zarif, has hailed the United Nations top court's ruling, tweeting that this is another legal victory for Iran. The court observes that all the measures of which Iran complains, those put in place or reinstated as a result of the presidential memorandum of 8 May 2018, are intended to weaken Iran's economy. Now, Iran had brought the case to the world court in 2018 after former President Donald Trump's administration imposed sanctions. This was followed by Trump's decision to abandon a 2015 pact under which Iran accepted curbs to, a nu to its nuclear program. Now, the ICJ's rulings are binding, but it has no power to enforce them. The United States and Iran are both amongst the handful of countries to have ignored its decisions earlier. Meanwhile... The just hours of before the ruling, the Iranian President Hassan Rouhani appeared in a televised cabinet meeting. President Rouhani made it clear that if the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action is to resume, it will only happen on Iran's terms. Now, Iran wants the status quo to remain at this point of time. And here's where the situation stands at the moment. Iran recently surpassed the amount of low enriched uranium that it is allowed to stockpile and has started enriching it past the 3.67% purity limit, permitted till 4.5%, saying that the actions could be reversed easily if the Europeans come up with incentives that compensate for the impact of the sanctions on the Iranian economy. Now, Iran at this point of time is also carrying out negotiations with European parties to try and ensure that the deal is resumed, to offset the sanctions that U.S. President Donald Trump had reinstated during his term when he had unilaterally pulled out of the deal. Now, there's been much discussion about the implications for the Iranian nuclear deal. At the moment, the Biden administration of the U.S. maintained that it is still too early to accept Iran's proposal. Instead, it is insisting that Tehran should return to compliance first, and then the United States will think of removing those unilateral sanctions that Iran describes as illegal. Now, at the same time, Europe is also under pressure from the United States to abandon the Iranian nuclear accord entirely on Sunday. Representatives of Iran, Germany, France, Britain, China, Russia and the European Union met in Vienna and recommitted to salvaging this multilateral 2015 agreement. Remember, the nuclear agreement allowed Iran to make low enriched nuclear fuel, the kind that is used in nuclear plants, but only under international supervision. Now, it mandated that Tehran should dismantle its nuclear stockpiling efforts in exchange for ending of sanctions on its oil exports. But Tehran has, of course, put some time constraints on the Biden administration. It has accelerated its production of enriched uranium has also threatened to kick out the UN nuclear inspectors if the US sanctions are not lifted by early February. A tall order for the two-week-old Biden administration. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.